In this short video, I'm going to show you how to start using the unit normal table. And again, this can be found in your in the back of all your textbooks um, or even just online. So it's, it is kind of handy to have a copy of it so you can either download it by accessing your e-text and looking at your physical textbook or just printing one off online. So again, this is called a unit normal table and it's to work with z-scores. Okay, um, you're going to have several of these tables throughout the semester. This is the first one, and this is the one that's going to work with your z-scores. And what this is going to try to do is going to try to find out the proportion um, or probability of um, randomly selecting a score that is um, greater than or less than that, that score, that z-score. Okay, so again, keep in mind your Z um, formula, right? You have over here on the top right-hand corner. How, so if you take your raw score, your X minus mu divided by standard deviation, you get a Z score. So say we get a Z score of um, 0.4. So that's going to be our um, example, right? So we have normal distribution down here, and our Z score would be right about here, right? It's not quite halfway. So we'll be able to see what proportion of, um, or what's the probability of selecting a score um, of 0.4, right? We'll also be able to find out the proportion of finding a score um, less than 0.4 and a score um, greater than 0.4, right? Okay, so let's take a, take a look at the, back to the unit of the table. Okay, so the first um, curve, normal distribution you have here, um, when we're talking about right here, you see how the tail is the little bitty part of the um, of the distribution, and um, it, the other part is shaded, um, is the bigger part, and this is called the body, right? So you need to learn how to differentiate those two. The one that um, is shaded or has um, the, the more of the data in that, wherever the cutoff line, right? So we're calling the cutoff line like right here, right? So um, on the left-hand side there, you're going to have the body. On the right-hand side, you're going to have the tail. And that's if you have a positive or a positive um, z-score. Now, take a look at this next one here, right? So we have a negative z-score, so our cutoff is right about here. Now our tail is over here on the left-hand side, and our body is over here on the right-hand side, okay? So again, where does the bulk of the data pile up? That's going to be your body. And where does it kind of taper off? That's going to be the tail. Okay, you have a couple different columns, right? So you have column A right here, right? Um, and it's two-sided, so you have, um, this is almost like two, um, they just put them right by each other so it wouldn't take up so much room, right? So this is not a continuation. This is um, like a separate page. So you have column A, and that's going to be your Z-score, right? That's where you're going to find your Z-score. And then in column B, Right, so again, you have one here and you have one over here because it's just a continuation. You notice this one says like 24 down here, right? And it, it starts again with 25, so just it's a continuation of it. Column B is your proportion in the body. Again, where does the where's the shaded part? Where's the bulk of the scores? Where is that going to be piling up? Column C is the proportion in the tail. Um, that's the little part where there's a little bit of. Um, uh, scores and distribution. Column D is kind of a funny one, right? This is the proportion between the mean and the Z. Okay, so let's go back to our example here. So we're going to use Z of um, 0.4. So again, here's our um, mu, and mu is always zero, right? So we have a, a Z score of 0.4, so we're at about, um, right about here, right? We're a little bit less than halfway through that one first deviation. So if I was to look up Z, my Z column, right, it's not going to be, it's not going to be over here, down, okay, it's over here. So this is my Z of 0.4, right there, okay? And so if I have a Z of 0.4, what is the proportion in the body, right? And so you can tell this is, has the bigger part of it, right? So this would be my body. Proportion of the body would be um, 0.65. Five, four. Okay, so body is 0.6554. And then my proportion in the tail is 0.33 or 0.3446. So that's this part right here. It's a little tinier, right? So again, um, the red is in the body and the blue is in the tail. So the proportion in the tail is 0.3. Four, four, six. It's about three. Sorry about that. Okay. So um, again, again, anytime you um, deal with 
a decimal, you can convert that into a percentage, right? So 0 0.6554 becomes 65.54% and um, 0.3446 becomes 34.46%. Right? Okay, so let's talk probabilities. Okay, so if I was to ask you what is the probability right, of just randomly selecting a score that is less than 0.4 z-score, right, so I'm looking at the body, you would say, well, it's a probability of 0.6554 or a 65.54% chance. If I was to ask you, what's the probability of me just randomly selecting a score that has a z-score greater than, or yeah, greater than 0.4? You would say, well, um, about 0.441 or about you know 34.4, sorry, 6 point um, 446 or 34.46% um, chance of just randomly selecting somebody with a z-score greater than 0.4. 